Hi viewers, so today uh, we are here to handle how to handle the HTTP exception. So normally I am trying to assess uh, some um, controller or action. So I am trying to assess something like uh, YYY. But actually this action is not really eg exit in my application. So this will uh, throw that 404 error okay that you can see here so this how to handle and how to um, keep some custom page to display so that is for the, the topics that I going to show you today in a yes but on MEC application so normally this you we can handle um, directly in a global data space instead of uh, handle in a every controller so how to achieve that so let me go on to so already we have a app starter um, method so that uh, okay before going to that what global dot aspx contains global dot aspx contain is it's inheriting the http applications so all the methods see uh, global dot access normally handle whatever the application um, that going to execute once it's heated it means once it's run so so uh, normally uh, there is uh, some uh, methods that already provided from the http application so if you go and see here so this is what the base method whatever see see all the type of actions record for application start so that that will be here so you can go and go through what exactly see all the features that we have add on Acquire request trade as synchronization. So here uh, we are not going to use any of stuffs here. So uh, we are going to inherit the method called application error. See if any kind of application error occurred. So let ask to hit this method. So that is that that we are going to do here. So I go and create the method product dot void. So application underscore error so this method we need to take the sender object and the event arguments so event arguments e okay so this uh, will keep us uh, void there is no return type so uh, if suppose any any error occur so the, uh, this will be uh, hit by here that is what the default uh, application is built on. so we no need to worry about how it's uh, command hitting the application error but anyways uh, .NET handle all the stuffs so uh, I'll just create the breakpoint here so we'll check uh, uh, my 404 uh, page again we'll execute that whether this method is hitting or not once this method is hitting we can write our logic to handle all type of share so my application is building okay I'll try to assess the same like home controller okay and some XYZ uh, action so once I uh, try to hit this so parallelly this will come and uh, hit my application error so we'll wait for this so yeah so see my breakpoint got heated that you are able to see this so this method will uh, get heated and it will execute so if you handle here whatever the exception you got so uh, that will eliminate you the exception and we can write our customs so let uh, go on to do that okay so let me create the object for uh, exception 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 equal to server dot get the lost error so whatever the lost error occurred uh, just store that in in an exception just to remove this unwanted stuff okay so uh, um, now uh, we got uh, the server law get a uh, lost uh, error so that whatever the exception that will hold here so then um, I will clear the response response dot clear 
so I am doing this I'm not going to explain here so this just clear the older response let it be uh, we need to do this uh, to avoid the um, unnecessary exception that will uh, throw from internally so uh, just whatever the response uh, just to clear it out and uh, throw the custom page so suppose mm, I'm trying to handle that in my this is my home controller and um, this is my only action so here I am trying to add some kind of uh, stuffs to handle the exception that will um, create the problem so that's what I am telling to clear the what are the response that are giving uh, just provided from the controller so, okay then um, we need to handle the HTTP exception so we need to so we need to handle the HTTP exception so this exception normally it will uh, be the server exception so this expression exception we need to convert to the HTTP exception so for that I will create the instance for the HTTP exception equal to exception as HTTP so I will uh, tell to act as a HTTP exception then okay if not equal to null if exception is not equal to null what does this mean uh, if exception is there it will go and hit here So here I going to write my switch case. So what I going to do? Switch HTTP exception dot get HTTP code. So here what we'll get? We'll get a uh, whatever the exception that we got already. All the exception details that will be uh, get from the exception. Then we uh, tell let's just act only HTTP exception so that only we'll um, grab only the HTTP exceptions so now we will check the case 404 if it is a 404 uh, to redirect the 404 custom page for that how to uh, do effective way um, I go and uh, add some create a root data so root data what it will going to do is uh, it will helps us to redirect to the particular uh, root so I will create a okay, root equal to new root data fine so uh, root dot values dot add so here mm, what is my key is controller so initially I will initialize my controller Okay, call, called okay error controller fine so now uh, we default initialize the controller name so now uh, if it is an exception uh, so uh, which action I need in the uh, error controller I have uh, uh, different types of action so we going to execute that one so uh, what we'll do if it is a 404 my action Action is HTTP four not four. Okay, then break. So if my case is four not four, then redirect to HTTP four not four, or if it is a five hundred. then reader to 500 so like uh, you can write your own code uh, suppose you want to handle the 404 or 500 or some other error so you can write and you can redirect to your custom page so let me go and uh, create the controller for this okay add what is my controller name? I already defined as Sierra. Okay. Okay. 
okay i named as error okay already it is uh, yes yeah, so, okay so it's good already i created the error controller so yes the http um, 404 405 okay even 500 will keep here okay good so uh, http http 400 500 yes so uh, this way uh, it will go and uh, do the stuff mm -hmm. okay we will uh, keep some default as well why I am keeping default because see so sometime mm, there is some other exception so that we uh, not handle that will be a problem so a default general action okay good so if uh, it is not our custom code so go defaultly and uh, just to throw that some kind of exception occurred please contact admin something we can write so fine so after done this you go and uh, clear the server out clear error okay so uh, from server level we can clear the error and we'll write one more stuffs to handle is dot try keep IAS custom error if something is we written the IAS okay so try skip IAS error equal to true so by this uh, if any custom error that you written in the IAS that will be handled so now I need to pass this root, uh, root data uh, to redirect uh, into the my root uh, table so how to achieve that it's very simple so let me go and uh, inherit the I controller okay okay error controller so now we are going to execute this root data so this as new error controller so uh, I tell uh, that mm, just see I controller normally the controller which inherited uh, this so uh, now I am forcibly telling that uh, to um, act my controller now as error controller so what I next is error controller dot just to do the execute okay execute see whatever the new request that uh, I need to do just execute that so this is what all about okay so uh, normally uh, execute the request under new request context in that uh, what is uh, your type context and plus the root data root data here for us is uh, root okay so what I done here it's a simple uh, procedure so um, it as per the request uh, context so new context how to define is a new request context uh, for a request context we have the two parameter one is HTTP context so okay I will just uh, let me okay so uh, execute okay it it asks for a new request context so request uh, contacts require uh, two parameter one is HTTP context and one is the root data root data is our root okay so here new HTTP context repo so our uh, context okay and finally the root data is our root okay fine so uh, everything is uh, looks uh, good so let me go and uh, execute the stuffs so let me go and see whether I have my views here 
404 not 4 yes I have so now um, we are going to do s uh, such a testing the 404 so I will keep here the breakpoint and let me go and check what the data that I have in my 404 page I have some head heading tag is HTTP 404 so let me go and uh, run the application and we'll go on to keep a breakpoint in two places one is a uh, 404 and one more place in a uh, global.xps my yes it is okay let me go on to run this my application is building okay so my I try again the same logic okay some exo is that action yes wait whether it uh, going to hit obviously it will go on the hit because there is no uh, action exists in my home controller so the it's hidden my application error so let go and do, do the step into the process so it's collected my exception and cleared my old response so I got my HTTP exceptions so you know that normally generally you can go and uh, check so yes it's a public uh, action method bridge was not found that is what the error message so this error normally have such a some code okay okay yes we have exception S then yes this is a 404 so it's executed this action and then cleared all the server clear and if any IAS issues that also it will clear and now it going to execute my error control directly from our code yes so now uh, in uh, error controller it hit my HTTP 4 page so now uh, this will redirect directly to my HTTP 4 page yes internally it's called my http4 error action so hopes you understand how uh, these things is work so you can have a doubt that why it's not uh, redirect my url because we are executing from our server side this is a response.server mechanism so this is actually a really good that internally you can show because if you already index this page somewhere and this uh, got error if it is redirected to http 404 there is no sense so internally you need to call that particular action and you need to throw the error and you can customize your template in a dynamic way oops you understand how to achieve this so uh, if you have any doubts queries please comment us please uh, subscribe our channel if you not subscribed earlier